and we'll continue to be joined by a number of the Maple Leafs. How are you, Keith? Pleased to meet you. The same. Thank you for coming on. No problem. How's today gone for you so far? Have you hit the, the physical testing already? or? Yeah, I did most of it. So, uh, you know, a little bit of relief. I still got the big one left to do. So, um, still the big push that, left. That I would guess. be the bike? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've, we've had a few guys come back from that. And uh, so far, it doesn't seem like very much fun. No, it's not the, it's, you know, it's not really what you look forward to throughout the summer. But, uh, you know, it's good to get it done. And you feel a lot better when you're done, that's for sure. Uh, tell us about uh, your attitude coming into camp this year. It's highly competitive, it appears, from the outside, at least. Yeah, I'm excited. I, uh, you know, We've added some good players, and I think all of us are just excited to get it back out here and play some games. We've been here skating for a while now, and uh, you know, we're just excited to get out and, and play some real games and, and just gel as a team. And you know, Me, personally, I'm looking to come and make the team again, as, as always, with uh, you know, me being a young guy. And, I'm just, I'm just ready to uh, put my best foot forward. Keith, what are some of the things you worked on then, uh, you know, from last year to this year in, the, in transition? Uh, strength and uh, strength, quickness. I want to be more intense this year. I, uh, you know, I, I want to be more in your face and, and uh, aggressive out there. I think I can, you know, if I do that, I think I can make it harder to play against, make myself harder to play against. And, uh, you know, just coming to camp in really good shape, I think, was my biggest goal. Are there players on the team already that you look up to or can you know spend time with as, as sort of how to follow in their footsteps to an NHL job? Yeah, I think you know lots lots of them. Um, no one really in particular. I just we have such a good group of guys here now, and everybody works so hard as as uh, you know as everybody will see here. Everybody's in good shape, and uh, you know it's it's so much easier to do all the right things when everybody around you is doing the right things as well. So. I think we're a pretty good unit in there now, and, and uh, we're just trying to keep it up. You know, for a lot of a lot of players coming through uh, and hitting the ice tomorrow, it'll be the first time in a Leafs jersey for them. Uh, you know, with the exception of maybe rookie camp for a few guys, what's it like going through that experience? And uh, you know, you're out there thinking about you know making the team and, and, and securing a job, but at the same time, I have to think there's a few moments you let yourself think about that as well. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, playing your first NHL game is huge, but playing it for the Leafs is uh, is, is even bigger. You know, the Leafs are such a you know such a documented uh, franchise, and, and uh, you know, there's so many followers, so many people care about the Toronto Maple Leafs, and and uh, you know, personally, for me to play my first game as a Leaf was was just incredible, and uh, you know, I'll never forget that that day for sure. So I can I can see the excitement in uh, in the new guys coming in and, and looking to play their first game. Are you, are you big online guy? Are you on Twitter? Are you on? No, no? I'm really not. I'm, uh, I'm pretty boring when it comes to that type of stuff. I don't do much, much of that at all. I'm not on Twitter, and I, to be honest, I don't really have any, any plans on getting on there anytime soon. So. Well, that's okay. But we're gonna throw you into the fire today, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, break you out of the mold a little bit because we're interacting with fans via a live chat with Matt sitting right to uh, okay. your right there and there's awesome. a few questions if you don't mind. Okay. Thanks, thanks no Keith for uh, for taking the questions from the fans first no off. Um, Sonny wants to know do you do, do, you do anything uh, to get yourself mentally prepared for a game? Um, I guess just routine is the biggest thing with uh, myself and, and probably most of the guys. Um, you know, on a game day, we'll come to the rink in the morning and we'll go for a pregame skate in the morning. And then uh, we always have pregame meal at about 12.30 or so. And we and we usually try to eat the same things. We usually try to eat, uh, you know, a pasta and a chicken or a fish or a, and a veggie. And, and then usually most guys, including myself, go home and, and we usually get a nap in and, and get some quiet time in the afternoon. And and uh, then we're back at the rink for 5 o'clock and for a 7 o'clock game. And, and uh, and then it's your warm-up routine. So we go, uh, we play soccer for a little bit, and then we, uh, you know, ride the bike and do some dynamic warm-up. And and uh, from then on in, it's just getting yourself psyched up and, and ready to play. Do you like to listen to any uh, like favorite type of music or anything like that? Like uh, you know, like your headphones or anything like that? Or yeah, I listen to music on the way to the rink all the time. I usually listen to some uh, some older rock, or, or I'm a huge country guy, so. Um, I, the country's always on my it's on my on. stereo, and you know, lots of guys chirp me because they say you can't get chirp or you can't get uh, get going listening to country music. But uh, I've always been able to you. I've always been able to get pumped up listening to country music. Um, Rob wants to know what was it like playing with Dion Phaneuf last season. It was good. It was a huge learning experience for me, and and 
obviously it was pretty exciting for me. Just, you know, I'd only played, uh, I can't even remember what it was, 10 or so games before I started playing with Dion. And then, uh, you know, starting to play with Dion and playing lots of minutes and playing against top lines and, and uh, you know, just really being challenged was really neat. And, and like I say, a great learning experience. Now, who do you see yourself being paired with uh, this season? Do you think it's going to be Dion? Do you think it'll be somebody else? What, what do you think uh, the coaches have in mind right now? Yeah, I'm just, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll see how camp plays out. And, you know, my biggest goal is just to just to earn a roster spot. And, and uh, wherever it goes from there is is up to Ron and the coaching staff. So I really don't have any any information on that front. Now, I know last year after you got into the, to the scrap with Scott Hartnell and you kind of knocked him down, down uh, you got a lot of... Uh, you got a nickname, Muhammad Ali. What did what'd you think of that? Well, I, it was kind of funny, you know. I, I've heard that before, but um, after one fight, it's funny how people, you know, jump to that right away. But you know, it, it's funny, but that's about it. I, I don't really expect to be a, a big fighter or anything. I'll, I'll fight when I, you know, when I when I want to or whatever. But I'm not going to be uh, definitely not going to be as prolific as Muhammad Ali was. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Keith. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, taking some time out today, and uh, you know maybe this will get you loosened up for the the bike, and it'll, everything will go well. Yeah, I'm feeling ready to go. <laughs> Appreciate it, Keith. All joining us. Uh, great to have you on, and uh, can't wait to to see you on the ice tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for having me.